Day 210. And if I'm hearing that wind right, I don't think I'm going to like what I find outside. But occasionally I've been wrong in the past. So let's go ahead and uh, drink some breakfast water. And let's stick our head outside and see what we have to actually work with. Ah, oh, brother. No, I want to go outside, not check my inventory. Come on. What do we have for me out here in the great outdoors? Oh, this is exactly what I feared. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, I'm going to go back indoors and kind of think about how I'm going to approach. I have a book. I'm going to read. That's what I'm going to do. The weather's fine. My stats are fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend some time reading a book, which I'll get a little bit of benefit out. I have plenty of light to do, and it'll help me skip some time. So that's one hour down. What has the weather done for me now? Take a look outside here now. There we are, one hour invested and past the storm. Excellent. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit of uh, work done today and a little bit of territory explored. This actually seems to be slightly more visibility than what I was dealing with yesterday. So it seems as if there might actually be a good opportunity for me to be able to do some of the surveying down here, which ultimately is what I'm wanting to do. So that sounds like a plan as well. And I'm willing to bet that we're going to want to get those uh, waterfalls surveyed. So that's likely what I'm looking to uh, get completed out here. This is uh, pretty much my first real jaunt through... Uh, the burnt territory, the actual basin and marshes of the Ash Canyon area. And I do like the fact that they actually change the territory a little bit, change the trees a little bit. Oop, got to play the Long Dark's favorite game, pick up sticks. What am I hearing? I could have sworn I heard something. I did hear something. I got them. I got them. And I scared one. Two, could have sworn I saw a third. Is there a third I'm dealing with here? Where you at? Where you at? Okay, I think we may actually be okay. There's... That's at least a third wolf, which to me implies that there is a fourth around, but... He probably already took off. This guy seems to be on panic mode. With the stupid AI, they can't figure out how to actually get where he wants to go. And he's clearly running away from me. So that's good for right now. One bullet, one hit, so something's going to bleed out. And the whole pack is uh, away from me. Broad Falls. Yep. I knew this was going to be something I was going to need to, to uh, survey. And I can, yes. Weather's clear enough, we can get away with that. Good, good, good. Okay. Alright, and those wolves are definitely running up someplace as well. So I'm thinking my game plan may actually be as stupid as it sounds to follow the wolves because I'm new to this area. It does seem to be clear weather. My stats are all pretty solid. Here, Sticky, pick up the stick. You know, it would be kind of neat if you could wind up somehow throwing the stick, taming the dogs, and, you know, getting them to play fetch with you what am I seeing here what am I hearing anyway I think it'd be an interesting dynamic to the game but I know it'll never happen because you'd wind up having camaraderie and part of this game is supposed to be the isolation of you are the last man standing okay is he okay he seems to be running as well I think that was number four, maybe. But always pick up the sticks. I am planning to stay in the local area here because I have left the bedroll in the shelter. So I want to get some exploration done, but I also want to uh, make sure that I'll be able to preferably sleep tonight. But I'm becoming more and more comfortable with the uh, snow shelters because they do seem to work quite fine. And they are a little bit 
lighter on the uh, backpack. You need some sticks you can pick up off the ground, as well as just carry a few pieces of fabric. Not the best solution. You do need to, you can only use them for a limited time, but it's certainly not a bad option, especially when you know that you have the bedroll when you need it. Kind of looking around here, just trying to get a reference point. I remember, uh, uh, I think I walked around this entire area on the trip to the gold mine. Because I keep seeing the uh, things up there, falls over there. Fairly certain back behind this rock is the uh, cabin. I'm just trying to keep my bearings while I'm doing some exploration. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, walk over here just a little bit. Because I'm just wanting to make sure I am where I think that I am. Kind of looking around a little bit here. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Let's go ahead and check this out as well. You know, this is one of those things where I haven't been here before. And because of that, I want to check out what is here and see what supplies we can garner from it. And even if the supplies just turn out to be Rosehip and uh, Reishi, that's some pretty solid stuff. That stuff has kept me alive before. I'm sure it'll keep me alive again. And I really need to get back down this hill before I wind up spraining something. Okay, there we are. I'm not redlining anymore. <laughs> I gotta get down in the grass. Get down to the grass and safety. Okay. Seems like I'm kind of contained in the valley a little bit here. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It simply is a thing. But... I'm certain there are some things that uh, we can check out here. So give me a minute to kind of uh, poke my nose around a little bit, and hopefully it doesn't get bit off by a dog. Alrighty. Well, told you looking around would pay off. We've got one of my favorite things here. Birch bark. You know, the good old natural source for uh, that uh, restoration tea. So I'll take that in a heartbeat. You know, I really need to check out some more of the birch forest more often just to kind of uh, stock up on that. Something I need to do, and I always say I need to do it, but I can't say as I ever get around to doing it. It's part of the, I don't know, I suppose, ups and downs of playing so nomadically as I am with this crusade. I'm trying to cover distance. I'm trying to explore the map and, you know, write it all down. I'm not really looking to set up a permanent base someplace. I don't know. Maybe I should make that a series, is just not so much trying to go for a crusade, but just trying to see how well supplied of a base, how solid I can make it. I don't know. Comment down below, would you be interested in seeing the opposite of crusade? Would you be interested in just seeing like a homesteading base, where I'm not necessarily trying to explore I'm just trying to see how long I can get it I mean one of the reasons I went with crusade was because at least the um, urge to explore the entire map of uh, Great Bear Island would uh, get new scenery in um, as well as hopefully distance and I'll be honest with crusade being literally my longest running um, survival mission uh, it's done far better than I ever hoped it would. Um, any sort of homesteading base building thing, I get a feeling that might get old quick is the reason I didn't do it. But uh, especially you guys who show up, watch, you know, post, uh, I would really love your opinions on that. Would you be interested in a um, homesteading series where I'm just trying to build a long, dark base build? Uh, seriously, I would appreciate your input because, I mean, you guys watching, you're the reasons I make these th videos, so I have this crazy thought of giving the people what they want. Uh, so I would uh, thoroughly appreciate uh, your input on this. Anyway, getting back to uh, today's mission then, I'm kind of slowly trying to work my way up, see what I can find on the, hello, burn barrel. 
You look a little bit different than the trees. I'll definitely take take your charcoal. But you see, this is why I'm up here. Ooh, tomato soup. There we are, yes. Because by doing these general explorations, you find some of this kit that is just laid out here. One wolf, two wolf in the distance. See anything else? I always believe it's usually a pack. So I'll believe that there's two more out there. But they all seem to be across the uh, frozen lake so far. So I don't think I'm even in their uh, scent radar. So I'll just feel happy about that. And I'd like to see if I can get myself up uh, to the... Uh, waterfall here distance if nothing else uh, for a possible survey and of course see what we have here with this is this one of those I need to go behind the waterfall things trying to keep a lookout see if there's any possible caves cuz long dark likes caves what do we have here oh I think I see a climbing wall Perfect. <laughs> a little path, walking behind the waterfall. I like that. I like that aesthetic a lot. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, yep, climber wall, which is fine. Spin on up here. What do we got? Oh, with, yeah, with the rose hip bush right there. I think I'm okay at this moment, and I hate the rose hip bush by the climbing wall uh, because... I always get the hitboxes like blurred and when I'm trying to do one, I inevitably wind up uh, resulting doing the other. So it's just something that I'm trying to avoid generally. So I'll wind up trying not to do that. So, all right, what do we got here? Okay, it's a bright sunshiny day. We've got yet another waterfall, which generally means we're probably going to need to get this onto the map. Okay. Not going to complain too much. And I do think we've got some bushes up there. Those rocks don't look necessarily that climbable. So I don't think there's necessarily anything to get in behind that lower waterfall. Alright. And we'll come on up here. Whoa, okay, hang on. Uh, we got a dog. We got a dog. Oh, shoot. He's not scared. Dang it. Uh, what am I going to do here? Okay. If I scare him off. Do a quick reload. Not quick enough. Crud. Okay, look. Stop reloading. Stop reloading. <laughs> ah! You dang mutt. See, in real life, you've got things where you can reload all six shots at the same time, damn it. You've got, like, clip loads you can use. And I don't mean just for, um, uh, magnums. You can do it for revolvers, too. Um, if you don't believe me, watch Lethal Weapon 1 again. You'll see, um, uh, the, uh, older officer with the revolver actually use those sometimes. <sighs> okay. So, I'm bleeding, but there's a wolf bleeding, and are you coming too? Wait, no, you're running. You're, you're scared. Your ears are down, your tails are down, you're scared. You're not scared! You're trying to eat me! Okay. Okay, you dang thing. Ouch. Gotta stop that blood loss. Ouch. Okay, how are we gonna put this one together? Okay. I think I can pull this off, but I'm gonna need to think a little bit. Oh, brother. Okay, triage. Um, I'm down to about 30% health. Energy's not bad. Water, food, not bad. Let's... See if I can get to the trigger. No, wait. It's not the trigger. Okay, let's get this surveyed here just for the altitude boost. Feel my feet. Okay, that's not too much more. Although, I'm seeing a, a wolf carcass. So, is one of them down already? Can't say as I'd really mind that, but I'm kind of surprised. Um, let's think through the equations here. I've got 
Before I forget about it, because I've been known to forget about it, and while I'm not getting chew toyed right now, let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, wounds fixed. Okay, so that's the infection. All right, um, get down here. Is this where the trigger is? Long fault. Yep, here's the trigger. Always at the base. It's like, why can't I rec draw this in later or higher or something? Yeah, there definitely seems to be both a dude and a wolf carcass around here. What do we got? Hey, I'll take those boots. I'll take those boots. Empty. When they're showing me the boots. Come on, man. I'm frustrated because of two wolf attacks. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. I gotta start thinking clear here. Let's see if we can locate the wolf carcass. Is it all the way up here? Did it, like, decide to go up to the top? It did. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. No, I don't want to survey. Let's go ahead, get a fire going. Because I'm cold. Let's get a fire going and do a little bit of work on this wolf. And then I think we'll probably bring this back to the cabin. All right. So that's 10 minutes there. Let's add some more fuel. Give me a little over an hour. Okay. Let's go ahead and cook a tea okay and I got I just need to kill like 10 minutes that way two minutes four minutes I could be doing more but just in case time wants to kick my butt I don't want to okay I just want one good piece of steak I might as well while I'm here make use of it so that needs an hour that has an hour there we are. That's just about perfect timing. Oh, gosh. And wow, one of the few times I'm actually using a uh, tea to actually cure some pain. I was drinking that just for temperature benefit, but sure. We'll go ahead and kind of keep this cycle up a little bit. I'm going to bounce back and forth, uh, getting some hydration, warming up, and processing this dog. Uh, I'm talking and thinking too much here. Um, that's 30 minutes. That's not too bad. I don't think I'll have that water evaporated yet. I need to find Probably food. boiled, but, uh, where are we? Okay, we've got cook still, and we've got K. Yep, all right. So how are we doing? We have... Temperature is doing decent. Steak is cooking. Let's go ahead and take the hide. We've got the meat. We get the hide, and we're going to be in a pretty decent situation, I think, here. Temperature is getting to max. My weight is at max. Okay, my condition is up to... Did I, have I crawled that up to 50% yet? No, I'm still at about 30%. Okay, that's fine. And then water is still... There we are. Boil dry. Okay, so we've got the water. We're getting down to evening here. Go ahead and get that drink. So that puts me up there. Okay. Um, take a look through here. Got some decent materials. Let's eat the chips. Let's try to, where am I with pounds? I have 95 of 93 pounds. Can I, <laughs> let's play this, let's play this. Uh, let's go ahead and also the, uh, add some fuel. That will give me an hour worth of, uh, yeah, cross over an hour. That will allow me to cook another steak. That also, that by itself technically gets me underweight right there. Let's go ahead and use this hour then to read a book and cook a steak. Multitasking, multitasking. Always get as much done as you can. Try not to skip time for the sake of skipping time. But if you can get two or three done at the same time, Two or three things done at the same time. That's how you can be productive in the game. All right, so I think I'm in a decent situation here. Let's go ahead and drink the water. See if that helps my weight situation a little bit. Uh, I think I may just have to deal with it. 
It is getting a little bit dark out. I don't want to have to deal with things. We're at 91 pounds out of a 90 pound cap. I'm about ready to just drop the book. Yeah, I think we're going to. I'm using the small arms. I can't say as I use the rifle much at all. All right, um, take a look through here. Let's go ahead and eat the expired chips. Well, they're not expired, they're just... Give me a second to play Inventory Management Simulator. Okay, I've got my gear squared away. Yes, I am technically a little bit overweight, but... You know, at the end of the day, you kind of want to be uh, bringing back a fair amount of stuff back to camp. But uh, we all know what's going to happen from here, is I'm going to get this back to camp, have a good meal, have a good drink, and get a good night's sleep. I'm not going to bore you with the details, though. I am going to thank you for watching. And I will let you know that uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, please remember to vote with your dollars, either joining here on YouTube or on Patreon. And of course, if you want to know if I live to see you tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.